Dams are marvelous creations. They help prevent flooding, create hydroelectric power, and provide water for farmers to irrigate and water their crops. But as great as they are, they are not without their faults. Because they can fail, and in a big way. When the water gets out of control it becomes a true force of nature, strong, impetuous and merciless. Today you're going to see what an out-of-control element is capable of. From a cloud explosion in India to a collapsed dam under construction, here are 10 massive dam failures caught on camera. Number 1. Brumadino Dam. The Brumadino Dam was built in Brazil on 1976 and was acquired by the iron ore miner Vale in 2001. Yes you heard the company right, it is the same company that was involved in the 2015 Mariana Dam disaster. The dam was built using sludge and designed to contain millions and tons of industrial waste. The dam failed catastrophically on 25 November 2019 which resulted in 259 deaths and 11 missing as of January 2019. The dam failure released around 12 million cubic meters of water. An internal report by Brazil-based diversified minor Vale has pointed to heavy seasonal rain, poor drainage and a brittle wall structure as key factors in the catastrophic Brumadino tailings dam failure almost a year ago. According to experts, the metals in the tailings will likely be incorporated into the river's soil and could go on to affect the region's whole ecosystem. The National Water Agency stated that the tailings could pollute over 300 kilometers, 186 miles, of river. Number 2. Oroville Dam Crisis. The Oroville Dam was constructed in 1968. It is the tallest earthen dam in the United States, at 770 feet, 230 meters. The dam is used for flood control, water storage, hydroelectric power generation, and water quality improvement. Heavy rainfall during the 2017 California floods damaged the main spillway on February 7, so the California Department of Water Resources stopped the spillway flow to assess the damage. The rain eventually raised the lake level until it flowed over the emergency spillway. Now they were left with only one option that is to use the spillway. But as the water flowed over the emergency spillway, the water pressure eroded the land across the spillway which could have resulted in the collapse of the concrete weir, which would have sent a 30-foot, 10-meter, wall of water into the Feather River below and flooded communities downstream. Nearly 188,000 people in the vicinity were reported evacuated and helicopters began to drop sandbags and large rocks in the area of the now dry emergency spillway. No collapse occurred, but the water further damaged the main spillway and eroded the bare slope of the emergency spillway. Number 3. Rishiganga Dam. Rishi Ganga Hydroelectric Project or Daulaganga Dam located in Chamoli district of Uttaranchal, utilizes the waters of the river Rishi Ganga to produce electricity. On February 7, 2021, an avalanche near Tapavan in Uttarakhand has damaged a part of the under-construction hydropower project in the region. The flash flood occurred in Rishi Ganga due to a glacier falling into it and exponentially increasing the volume of water. Due to this, the Rishi Ganga hydro project was completely devastated. Camera shots show a massive burst of water rushing violently through a narrow river valley, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Scientists from the Snow and Avalanche Study Establishment in Chandigarh also reached the same conclusion, that winters in the northwest Himalaya have been getting warmer and wetter in the last 25 years. And these findings together indicate that a region that has for many millennia been marked by its extreme cold in the winter has already started exhibiting completely opposite trends. More than 100 laborers at the barrage and 50-plus in the tunnel lost their life as per the in-charge of worksite. As many as 150 people are missing. As the earth heats up, mountains' glaciers melt at unprecedented rates. Number 4. Sayano Shushinskaya Dam. The Sayano Shushinskaya Dam is the largest power plant in Russia and the ninth largest hydroelectric plant in the world, it has a height of 242 meters and has a capacity of generating 23.5 tetrawatt hours per year. On 17 August 2009, the hydroelectric plant suffered a catastrophic accident that flooded, due to fatigue in nuts of the turbine too, the casing of the turbine opened and the pressurized water damaged all the turbines out of which only four were recoverable. As the minutes passed by, the water flooded the building and started flowing through the parking lot. The two generators exploded underwater which resulted in a short circuit which in turn caused blackout in the residential areas. 
The accident caused a spill of at least 40 tons of transformer oil released, spreading over 80 kilometers. As of 10 September 2009, 75 people, including one pregnant woman, were confirmed dead, while one person was still listed as missing 40 days after the disaster. The damages were so high that the rebuilding of the engine room alone would cost $1.2 billion. Number 5. Itwango Dam Failure The Itwango Dam was under construction on the Cauca River near Itwango, Colombia. This dam mainly focused on hydroelectric power generation to produce nearly 2,456 megawatts when completed. The dam was planned to function in late 2018 and the construction started from 2011. The dam was designed to be 225 meters tall and estimated to cost $2.8 billion. The dam had three tunnels and two tunnels were closed leaving the third tunnel to divert river flow. But due to three landslides, the third tunnel got closed and the reservoir started filling. To avoid the breach of the dam the workers decided to let the water through the unfinished power station on the 10th of May. But on May 12, 2018 the water pressure unclogged one of the closed tunnels which increased the downstream flow three times. This prompted evacuations of around 25,000 people in nearby villages and, the slope failure led to the evacuation of the 1,500 workers at the site. But the water pressure was so high that it turned construction vehicles which weighed tons and damaged the nearby villages on its way. Around 600 people have been left homeless. So far no deaths or missing people were reported. Number 6. Lake Dunlap The Lake Dunlap is a reservoir on the Guadalupe River near the town of New Brownfields in Guadalupe County, Texas, United States. The dam is 175 meters tall and covers a surface area of about 410 acres. The reservoir was formed in 1931 by the construction of a dam to provide hydroelectric power to the area. On May 14, 2019 the dam's 90-year-old middle spillway unexpectedly collapsed, nearly draining the lake by the day's end. The lower, concrete portion of the dam remains in place. The collapse was due to aging structural steel. Lake Dunlap offers mostly calm water due to its narrow size and protection from wind by shoreline trees. Wakeboarders, skiers, and other recreational enthusiasts use Lake Dunlap daily due to its family-friendly calmness, temperature, and status of near private lake. However water sports since the dam broke are mostly limited to areas closest to the dam where the water is the deepest. Boaters have to proceed with caution as the lake has numerous unmarked stumps. The lake level is down almost 13 feet due to the broken spill gate. Number 7. Edenville Dam. The Edenville Dam was built in 1924 in mid-Michigan United States for hydroelectric power and flood control. The dam was equipped with two 2.4 MW turbines capable of generating 4.8 MW of electricity in total. The height of the dam is 16 meters. On May 19, 2020 due to heavy rains in the area, the eastern side of the dam collapsed, prompting immediate evacuations in the towns of Edenville and Sanford. The Sanford Dam, about 16 kilometers downstream, subsequently overflowed. The governor declared a state of emergency and nearly 10,000 local residents were evacuated, maintaining social distance during the COVID-19 pandemic. The water flooded up to a level of 9 feet. As of the morning of May 20, no casualties had been reported as a result of the flooding. The damages cost could be estimated as $175 million, said the authorities. Number 8. Spencer Dam. The Spencer Dam was a hydroelectric dam on the Neobrara River in Boyd County and Holt County, Nebraska. The initial construction was completed in 1927. The dam was 1,127 meters long and 7.9 meters high. The dam consisted of two generators with capacities of 2,000 and 1,300 kilowatts. On March 14, 2019 the dam was breached after a major storm caused heavy rain, snowmelt and ice breakage to swell the Neobrara River. The initial break destroyed a saloon and private residence below the dam and washed out part of U.S. Highway 281. The owner of the home below dam was reported missing and presumed dead. In the town of Neobrara, dozens of buildings and the Mormon Canal Bridge carrying Nebraska Highway 12 were washed away. A water pipeline under Neobrara Riverbed was also destroyed, cutting off the supply for about 2,000 people. The dam failure forced the evacuation of residents in low-lying areas along the river. 
Number 9. Uzbekistan Dam Failure. The Uzbekistan Dam construction cost was about $400 million in 2017. The dam construction was planned back in 2008 and built in 2010 to 2017. On May 1, 2020, after five days of severe storms, a wall at the Sardaba Reservoir in the region of Sardaria Uzbekistan, collapsed and the water flowed through cotton fields and villages. The gates of the dam were opened to reduce the water pressure on the walls of the reservoir and to prevent the further collapse of dam. The capacity of the canal was overwhelmed and therefore the flood expanded. According to the reports nearly 500 million cubic meters of water could have been lost. The flood affected 35,000 hectares of land in Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Six people died and at least 111,000 were evacuated from the Sir Darya River basin. The recovery of the dam is expected to cost about $1.5 billion. Number 10. Saddle Dam D. The Mekong River is considered one of the most biodiverse rivers in the world and is greatly affected by distinct wet and dry seasons. To boost the country's economy, the Lao government had decided to set up hydroelectric power stations. The government in Laos has launched an ambitious dam building scheme to become the Battery of Asia. The country had 46 operational hydroelectric power plants in 2017, and 54 more under construction. On July 23, 2018, in the midst of monsoon season, an urgent evacuation notice was issued to villages downstream of Saddle Dam D. This notice was to inform the people that they should move to higher elevation land in case of failure of the soon-to-be-completed dam, which led to widespread destruction and homelessness among the local population in neighboring Adipayu province. Eight villages were flooded damaging infrastructure, farmland, and water supplies. Lao government officials say the reservoir's construction was not standard and legal action would be taken. As of 25 September 40 people were confirmed dead and at least 98 more were missing and 6,600 people were displaced. Government agencies and stakeholder companies joined together to rescue and evacuate villages affected by the collapse. The Laos government has already invested millions into the dam project and the loss of this will significantly affect their economy. If they stop, the economy of Laos will have a very hard time recovering. Which of these massive dam failures did you think was the worst? Can you think of any other dam-related disasters than could top the ones on this list? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.